Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, out here with Mike, and we're not playing games today. Here's what we got to do, we got, I had a restaurant order some cherry and some oak, so you can see Mike's got a load of oak, we, we uh, unloaded some ash a minute ago, and uh, the reason we're splitting it back here, because the oak's over there, Mike couldn't get back here, he got stuck already, so I had to pull him back here. And uh, so we, we drove the splitter back here, and then hopefully where Mike's going to load from is over here. Mike's going to load from over here. That oak there is the dry oak that we have. So this, this uh, it's all slushy snow in here. It's been melting. It rained all day yesterday, and it got rid of a bunch of, a bunch of the snow. But it's uh the slushy stuff's real hard to drive on. Thankfully, thank you, Daryl. I got good tires because I had to pull Mike back here, or at least get him up that hill. He tried doing it himself and he got stuck. Guess who's watching? Guess who's watching? Brad. Yep. Hi, Brad. Say hi, Brad. <laughs> Look what I'm wearing, Brad. Look what I'm wearing, Brad. <laughs> You ready? You ready for the the fellowship, Brad? Hopefully the weather's better than it is here, because this is just a, a nasty mess. Like I say, I had to had to pull Mike back here, but I didn't want to have to unload all this cherry and then split it back into Mike's truck. We're gonna split it right into my truck, and he's gonna take and he's gonna take the uh, the, the oak with him. So once we get this out, he you can see he laid some bark down so he can get some traction to get through here. Hi, Randy Clay. So yeah, Mike's here. This is like my, you know, I did a, I did the live stream yesterday of me sharpening chains, but you know, it was pouring down rain, 30 degrees. I don't think I'm gonna work on that. But yeah, Brad, oh, and it's Thirsty Thursday tonight, so go to Brad's channel, Firewood at the Furnace, on uh, YouTube. Yeah, he'll be there, Mike, and uh, oh, and Andrew Easton's there. I think he's gonna be on video. I don't think he's actually at at Brad's right now. We'll find out that that tonight, but uh, we're gonna go ahead. Um, and if uh, if this isn't all dry, snow is gone and soggy. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, this slushy stuff. It's soggy here now. I, I would if it's gonna be crappy. I'd rather have it cold. I'd rather have it. Go ahead and fire it up, Mike. It should already be. You know, it shouldn't. It's a, it's like I say, it's like about 40 degrees, so you don't need to warm it up. Yeah, there you go. But uh, any cherry that we get, I'm just going to stack it right here with this cherry. So you can see we've already got that limit in, and we got some wood for mom. So I'm going to get this set up on the tripod. We're going to get this knocked out and uh, <clears throat> get his truck loaded. Then we got to go deliver it and stack it. I might do that live. Got to go put it in their warehouse where they where they keep all their wood at. So, like I say, I, I might live stream from there. Depends on my signal. I'll be over there in a second, Mike. Get a good angle for you. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, yeah, I think that's dry, Mike. Pretty sure that's dry. All right, I'll get over there. Get over there and help him. It's my first and second delivery. After delivering 10 truckloads last week, after delivering 10 truckloads last week, this week slowed down like I knew it would, but he wants, a, the customer needs this cherry and oak for a smoke or I don't know if it's I think it's for a smoker not the pizza oven or the oak is for the pizza oven I believe and the cherry he wants the cherry for smoking but yeah you know hey Brad when when you gonna buy a Amazon style warehouse because you can't be running out of wood you gotta you gotta be ready 24 7 365 with dry wood Brad you can't be running out you know, why why make the customer plan ahead and, and do be smart and get it early? You know, 
because uh, there's no way Mike can get get through the woods right now with his two-wheel drive truck. He had to have his uh, brother Scott, brother Scott and his uh, Ranger do it. They had to take it in, and then they had to transfer from the Ranger to Mike's truck in the rain yesterday. Or yeah, two days ago, yeah, the rain was real bad yesterday. So yeah, he had it. He had the truck loaded Tuesday, and then. And he's like, yeah, I'm bringing mostly cherry. I'll go, well, guess what? That's what the customer just ordered. Because if he would have brought me all ash, we'd have to go split it over there. And then we'd have to load all the cherry and the uh, oak. They're getting two Joe cords. And uh, I charge them 175 for the wood each. And then... Uh, charge them for the delivery and stacking so and then they're gonna give us a free meal Mike's always hungry he wouldn't have that barrel if he wasn't so we're gonna treat Mike to some lunch well, I guess today he actually had some breakfast. Well, I haven't delivered to them since July, but they were just getting things set up, so they might be needing this stuff more frequently. I got some shorter pieces here for Mom. Mom needs some wood, Randy. Mom needs some firewood. Oh, got ants. Ants ride cop. But, but mom gets to burn it. And we're all about working smarter, not harder at JPF. But it'll be interesting to see if Mike can move his uh move his truck forward once all this weight's out but if he can we'll pull the quad forward i'll back my truck up to it even if he said even if it hits his tailgate he's not worried about it because it's pretty much roached anyway and uh, i'll push him back there but once he gets that oak in and plus this is still you'll be okay mike because it's kind of You know, put up the hill. I think Mike's gonna come Sunday. If it's available. We need to go through. He's gonna bring me a load Sunday. Go through our woods. Get all those little standing dead trees that are ready to give it to Mom because this. Even though it's not as cold, she's not burning as much now, it's getting pretty low. We do have fires every day. You got any more of that uh, Easter red cedar left, Mike? I used a piece of that to start the fire yesterday with Mama's uh, grocery shopping. If you ever watched the live stream yesterday for the replay, I made it specially for him, and he wasn't there. Hope he's okay. Hope Rogala's doing okay. I know he's been having some health issues, just like me. I got a big, big corn on my uh, on the toe next to my big toe on my right foot. Did you see that picture, Mike? Yeah. And. Uh, a couple times it was bleeding and now it might be affected. Of course, I don't have insurance. The doctor wants to see me. I wanted to just send her a picture and then she could write a prescription. But oh no, they got to get your money, folks. They don't do nothing for
Well, I already got an appointment scheduled, but not till March 25th. Yeah, day, before day, day, day before whose birthday? Mine. Yeah. But I don't know if I can wait that long. Yeah, Michael. I'm just uh, I'm wearing wearing this coat. I really don't need it, but we're going inside to eat. It's a nice restaurant. And I don't want this nice hoodie, this nice hoodie, all dirty. I don't want this jacket all dirty either, but. It, it's it's kind of a outdoor jacket anyway. Moon, a backspin graphics made for me. Ordered. Oh, wonder if Bill's watching right now. Oh yeah. And I know Jim Harbaugh's gone, and M M Mike and I both realized this was coming. Oh yeah. Time Man's happy. Oh Ryan Day's happy. He gets to keep his job. Glad I grabbed that other wheelbarrow, Mike. Mike, man, you got, that was at least a wheelbarrow load of just the stuff you got to split. And we go through some of this stuff that might need to be split too. Now, now that I'm, I, my, I lost the one Hickory account and. Uh, the, the other Hickory account went out of business, so now I'm down to three restaurants right now. This is the biggest one, the one up in Holland. Uh, we, we delivered to them in August, like, and I'm surprised they, but they had a lot then. They haven't reordered. I figured they should be ordering soon. might help them move some forward check to see how many are watching make sure you smash that thumbs up yeah where's my headphones Mike I know I'm all about safety only 16 people are watching I, I hope it's uh coming through okay usually you have more than that so I don't know if the sounds bad or you guys just not interested in watching today or what? Thumbs up. Maybe it's coming through choppy. I know last week when we did that live stream on Friday, I think there was like 58 people watching. Well, now there's 17. William, we need a ski mascot. Sound is not good, cuts out. Okay. All right, I'm pulling. I, I pulled the uh, the uh, microphone off. Sometimes the sound works, sometimes it doesn't. How's that now? But I, you won't be able to hear what I'm saying over there unless I yell, because the sound of the motor's in the way. Is that any better? <sighs> Thanks for letting me know, William.
Is that better without the microphone? Is that better without the microphones? Uh, Steve Holly, good morning. What do you think, William? I gotta yell though so you can hear me or come over and talk, talk in here. But yeah, that's probably why nobody's watching because the, so the sound was screwed up unless I stand right next to the uh, microphone. It's like the sun's trying to come out. What do you think? That's, it's good now, Billy Otis? Sounds better? Yeah, I don't like it when it cuts out either. It's annoying. Very annoying.
you just joining us. Uh, we're having, uh, uh, I guess we were having audio difficulties. Surprise, surprise. So uh, I took it off, but if I, you know, I got to yell to talk to you. But uh, you can see how much he's got left. So I think we're going to get it all into my truck. So. So, yeah. Don't hear me because, uh, you know, I'm not, I don't have my microphone on. Somebody said it was cutting out. That's why everybody left. So it's either microphone cutting in and out or no microphone. I think no microphone's better, right? I'm going to take this ash, I'm going to take this ash over here, but uh, yeah, I'm not wearing the microphone now, folks, so I guess if you think I need a new one, go ahead and send one to me.
I'm gonna try to make this one work, but if it gets real bad, then I guess I gotta bite the bullet and get one. Oh, it wasn't cutting out? Your, your sound was okay with the microphone? Cause somebody said the sound was cutting out. And there wasn't very many people watching, so I figured that's why. Let me go put this away and then I can come back and help Mike. I mean, the sound, the sound should have been good, Randy, because uh, I just put a new adapter on the, on the uh, microphone. It was brand new, but uh, apparently somebody was saying it was cutting in and out, so I gotta, I gotta, I, I can't hear, I gotta trust what people are saying. Should be able to get the rest of it in there. 
Mike does do a good job, Billy Otis. See, he's empty. And I'm full with a joke cord, and we got some wood for mom. Got a decent amount for mom. Now we gotta find out if Mike can drive forward. Yeah, I don't know if the sound was working good earlier or not. That's why I took the microphone out. Some people saying it was good. Some people said it was cutting in and out. So this is where we're going to load from. So I would, Mike, I would just get up up to here where this, well, I'll take this white cover off and throw that oak in right there. 
Might have to take the red one off too, but since the white that, that's sitting on top of that, we'll put that oak in there first. Billy Otis says Mike cuts good wood. Thank you, Billy. Alright. Let's see if he can get some traction. Start moving forward now that his truck's empty. Or I'm gonna have to push him with my truck. See what he does. See if it'll, he'll be able to move. Inch it forward. Well, but look how look how much uh, higher yours is sitting. How much lower mine's sitting now, Mike? Am I gonna have to push you? No, I'm gonna. You got ways of doing things. Yeah, I just gotta get. Yeah, here, get the quad out of the way. Yeah, All right. Out of the way. Yeah, we'll pull the quad forward. Well, yeah, I know it. I know it. I guess let me give you a hand here, Mike. People say I, I play games and don't help you. All right. Yeah, because we got to take those up to mine before we leave. Yeah, and then if you come Sunday, you come Sunday. But if it, if uh, he can't if he can't figure it out, I think he's gonna back up and then get a running start. I can uh, we'll get that out of the way. Does it sound better, William? Now, I mean, it was really cutting out. I trust you, William. You, it, it wasn't on your end, was it? So I think Randy Clay said it, it was the sound was good for him, but I had to I had to go with because I trust you. I had to go with what you said. Should I move, Mike, or <sighs> just yeah? So okay. Give her help. Mike has ways of doing things. I'll move my truck out of the way. Yeah. Just in case I got a back issue. Yeah, your bumper's double high now. This is flat ground. I'm telling you, this is the worst stuff to drive in, except for like maybe real, uh, you know, clay, you know, mud, a couple inches of mud. But we got them back there, folks. You knew we, you knew we did it. 
<laughs> yeah, old carpet. Once you got moving, Mike, you know, you had it. And then I think you'll be able to back out of here once you get that weight in there. But I, I'll stay, I'll, uh, stay back here to make sure you can get out. But I think once you put that weight in, it's going to be a big difference. Yeah, the, sl the slushy snow is the worst to drive in. Yeah. You lost me? What, you lost the sound? I don't know. I guess I'll have to watch the replay, see what you guys are talking about. Plus, when he goes this way, he's going downhill. It's kind of angled up this way, slight incline. But then it's going to get sketchy if you, you know, if you're going to go in between the, go in, in the pit, between the power pole or go down the hill, Mike, and get into the driveway. So I had to pull him out once, and then I had to push him. Talk about playing games. What do you think? Premium oak. Restaurant will be using this for their pizza oven, I think. They'll be using my cherry for the smoker. Let's get all this off. We have to uncover that red one, then we got to do that. I think we're going to have to get some of that. And I had a run of my regular customers order some oak from me. I got to take to him next week. We're going to be just about out of oak back here. That's the last one we got, Mike. And Mike split that one in 2022 in June, and I don't think it's dry yet. It's been there for almost two years. Lots of dry oak when it's cut green. You tell me if this is dry. Charge extra for having to do the drying.
Hopefully Mike's got some semi-season oak he can bring me. I don't know if he can drive back out back here. We need the snow to melt. Truck ain't gonna load itself. <laughs> In any normal circumstance, half those I'd give to mom because they're so short. If these are long, if these are 16, you know, not 12 inches, we'd have it filled by now if, it was, if they're all 16. But it's still still the same volume of wood. He's going to just get more pieces. Yeah. He's still going to need no board. Oh, yeah. Watch this way. Right here. And under, under, under my red sweater, I got that shirt. It says, my wood's 16 inches. Somebody sent me that shirt. more were there. Remember, remember Mike's bed's eight foot long, so so we can uh, we don't go as high as we do on mine. Mike's got some weight in there now, folks. Remember, it's downhill that way. Once it gets moving, he can't stop, so I gotta get my truck out of the way. Come back and move the quad back where it's supposed to be. Yeah, you gotta put that away. I think we're good. I'm gonna run through it wet. <laughs> Let me get out of the way. I'm going to leave the camera back here. You can watch, Let's see if Mike gets out of here. 
I'll set this here. You can be right behind me, Mike. Because, uh, like I say, I don't know. I might have to, I might have to pull him out. Remember, he doesn't have four wheel drive, and he's he was like spinning his tires right there. Yeah, somebody was saying put a carpet under there. There's this thing like a reverse bear trap where the claws go into the ground. Oh, you get put that on just in case I have to pull you. Or should you want me to just pull you anyway? Should be able to get out. Yeah, so he's gonna put that on. Yeah, he needs to fix his four wheel drive. That that's a fact. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Reminded me, I know. Huh? <laughs> well, that's what they're saying, Mike. I'm just letting you know. Don't you... Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can get out of there with four wheel drive, awesome tires. Usually I don't have a problem. Mine's, mine's uh, got 100 percent cherry. Mike's got 100 percent oak. So two somebody Joe cords going somebody out. Find me a front drive shaft yeah. for a 98. Yeah, yeah, he needs a, yeah, a, a, a front Tahoe. drive shaft for a 98. On a Tahoe. GMC8. Yeah, on a Tahoe. All right, folks, no camera crew. Not the camera crew, too. So I had to get it. Mike made it out, though. I'm sure you figured it out. Mike made it out. Oh, Mike's even watching. Now he's playing games. He wants to see what you guys have to say. So Mike's got to get back here. Hopefully he's watching. He can hear me. We got to put the quad away. Got to move those wheelbarrow loads up for Ma. Take those up to her and then go to the restaurant unload and stack it we might go live there i don't know we'll see i'll leave this right here <clears throat> so i guess if i did have audio is issues i uh i apologize for that so we got to go do this delivery done playing games thanks everybody for watching sorry about the technical difficulties i'll see brad on uh Firewood at the Furnace live stream tonight, Thirsty Thursday on YouTube, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one, which might be at the delivery.